Hi everybody. So here I am working on the right uh, skin for the fuselage of dimpling. And then after that uh, you will see me working on the stiffeners for the rest of the video. So there it is. 18 seconds. Boom. Done. Now let's spend the rest of the time talking about people and how they suck. This is something that I should just have a radio show doing. Because people suck. They don't mean to. A lot of the times people don't mean to. A lot of the times people do, and that makes it even worse. But a lot of times people don't mean to suck. For instance, I stand in this hangar and I work on my plane. And whenever planes start to fire up, I'm always curious to see who's flying, see what's flying, see if it's something I haven't seen before. And um, in the past couple of months, I've watched people do some certain things, and I'm going to call them out on it. <clears throat> to you who, pilots, who start the plane up, and the throttle's in a bad position, and you immediately crank it up to 2200 RPM because you think it sounds right that it's running nice and strong. Uh, because you don't want to have a weak start, or you don't know that the plane's actually started. Uh, go fuck yourselves. Uh, you're, 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 you're cranking my engines up at a high RPM, and there's no oil pressure yet, and it's cold, and you're just grinding shit around. That's all you're doing. No one in the universe is ever going to tell you to just start the plane up full ass throttle on a 47 year old plane. Uh, to people that, um, let's say that you're not one of those people, fine. If you, uh, something else that I've seen. If you're one of those people that does their checklist, gets everything ready, gets in the plane, getting ready to pull away, you throttle up to start moving and you don't move, and then you throttle up to a little bit higher, and now you're at 1800 or or you're at, you know, you, you, once you get above like 23 inches of manifold pressure, and like, why, why am I not moving? Oh, my chain, my tail chain is still tied down. To those people, you go fuck yourselves. No, I, I, I okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm being kind of mean on that one. A lot of those people don't mean it. I mean, who, who would do that on purpose? It's still very funny though. It's funny to me because I watch him and it's the same routine. Rev, rev, higher, higher, higher. Why am I not moving? And then they're like, oh, wait. Pull that down to 1,000 RPM. You hear the mix go back. Door close. Chain. Door closes again. And then you're out of there. No one wants to be seen doing that. To the people that run over the chalks. Oh, God, come on, guys. you got to do better than that. What's worse is people that, uh, they remove the chalks, they go fly, but they only really move the chalks about three inches away from where the tire is. And then they come pulling back in to park, and they just run straight over the fucker. It's embarrassing. Anyway. I'm not going to tell those people to go fuck themselves, because... They shouldn't be so lucky. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. To the member in the club who's a, gi a giant pain in the ass, I will never name names, but you know who you are. Uh, well, you know my message. Look, our club does inspections of the planes at a very periodic amount of maintenance. All right? I don't just pull the planes off the line out of the blue. People have started thinking that I'm doing it to them personally. I'm like, no, the, I, I'm not doing it to you. The tax doing it to you. Planes hit this tack, it's gonna get it's gonna get its inspection. Ain't anything in the universe that you can do about it unless you want to reserve that plane every day and fly it and pay a ton of money. Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, just working on the stiffeners and uh, getting out some good uh, some good venting. So. Uh, in the next one, we will have more of that and probably more venting, too, so see you soon.